Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Matt here. Today is, I have to look at the calendar here, Tuesday, February 16th, 2021. And as I look outside, we got quite a bit of snow last night. It's probably our biggest snowstorm of the year so far here in mid Michigan. We probably got about eight inches of actual snow that the drifting has given us probably 12 to 18 inch drifts in some places. I'm hoping some of that blows away before I plow. But uh, I wanted to touch base here. You've seen the, the blowing and drifting in the video last night. And look in the shop here. I pulled all the vehicles in here yesterday because we keep this heated in here. And I kind of like to have, you know, all the, all the salt and all the stuff melt off the vehicles a few times a year, keep them clean. And uh, so we got that going on. But the tractor back here is ready to go. And as soon as I'm done with work, because of COVID, I've been working at home. And if I haven't mentioned this in any of my videos, my desk is actually right here in the shop. I've got a computer set up and a few things where I can work right out of the shop. It's heated out here, keep it 65 or so. So um, I have uh, work to do for my actual day job till about 2.30, 3 o'clock and then we'll get the tractor out and we'll start getting driveways cleared and hopefully you guys will stick around and see that. All right guys, so my work day is over. I'm gonna go get the front plow on and the back blade and let's go to work. So I'm going to do something here in this video. I don't usually do voiceovers, but in this case, my boys did the video clips for me. And we seem to have a series of short video clips. I'm not sure if that's because they're used to using TikTok and not taking YouTube videos or what the deal is. But as we go through and watch that they've got a lot of good clips here of this plow pushing snow now I use a combination of this front plow that you see on the screen and my back blade um, the front plow has three positions it does not have a hydraulic cylinder on it that will go left right or straight and the back blade same thing left right or straight so without having to get off the tractor frequently while I'm plowing, I'll set the back blade to one side, usually to the right, and the front plow I will leave straight. I found that in normal snowstorms here in Michigan where we get, you know, two to six inches of snow, I'll use the back blade almost exclusively because it leaves a nice finish. It scrapes right down to the frozen ground. If you're on concrete, um, it'll scrape right down to the concrete. It does a really, really nice job. The front plow, on the other hand, I will leave in the straight position. So when I come to the end, say, of a driveway, I can use that straight plow to kind of clean up the ends of the driveway. Now today, I have to say, was a little bit different because we had eight inches of actual snow and then most of the drifting in my yard this is my yard right here that we're seeing was around 12 inches in some spots uh, one of the houses that i did later on i did have some 18 inch drifts but the back blade when pulling forward with the back blade you end up 
pulling so much snow behind you it kind of gets underneath the tractor and if you if you drag a big enough drift behind you the back end of the tractor starts to slide sideways now my rear tires are loaded and you can see I have chains on uh, but in this heavier snow I do find that the front blade pushes really nice now I could tilt that front blade and probably do the whole job uh, with the blade tilted but again I want it straight frequently so without having to get off the tractor I just leave it in the straight position so what I want to point out here is there's there's a little back blading here uh, by the way back blading seems to work really well close to buildings uh, I drag that snow away from the garage right away from the house the buildings and then I can deal with it with the front plow but what I want to point out is uh, a few videos back I did a modification to the snow plow which created a pivot point so in the past it was a rigid mounted snow plow on the front of my tractor and to get it to float on top of the surface I would use the float mode of my loader so using the loader all the way forward the loader handle all the way forward that puts the loader in float mode so the loader arms uh, would actually uh, allow fluid to flow back and forth in those cylinders and allow the entire loader arms to float by doing that I had all the pressure and weight of the loader arms all the brackets the connections and the plow riding on the, the ground on the surface on the ground it was very hard on the loader arms the pins it was hard on the machine and quite frankly quite frankly you lost traction because a lot of that weight was laying on the ground instead of being up in the air which would put that traction to your tires there's a good video of it right there. So the modification was to put a pivot point and a chain. So now, as you can see in these video clips, my blade rides on the ground, but my loader arms are up in the air. So I'm not having all that weight and all that force pushing uh, on the, the joints of the loader. It's not nearly as hard on the equipment. And it does a really nice job. Additionally, the skid shoes that are on this blade, I have them set almost perfectly flat level with where the blade should be. So depending on how far I lower down the loader arms each time, I can, if I go lower, those skid shoes will actually engage the ground and lift the cutting edge of the blade off the ground a little bit, which would be great for gravel driveways or areas that are, that are uneven. Here in front of my neighbor's garage, I did a lot less, uh, lowered it a lot less, so you can see the cutting edge of the blade is actually riding right on the ground, and the skid shoes aren't even really touching the ground, which is able to clean this concrete up real nice. I thought that was handy, just because you don't have to adjust the skid shoes all the time. wrapping up here at my grandma's house well that's about it for snow plowing today uh i don't think the kids i'll know when i edit this video but i don't think the the boys got footage of all of the driveways that we did but usually when we get a, a decent snow like this we got about eight inches of snow here which is pretty hard for people to shovel by hand and uh even if you got a snow blower or something it just takes a long time so we went around the neighborhood and I think we did up and down our road here. I think we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven houses. Um, I usually just pull in and offer people, you know, I'll, all the neighbors, I know most of them. I'll give you, do the, do the snow plow for you. So they appreciate it. Something nice for, for them to do. So I'll, I'll challenge you guys go out and do something nice for somebody in the next few days. They'll really appreciate it. So. Anyway, I uh, appreciate you watching this video and we will see you on the next one.